Hi again. <laughs> I have another short speak. Uh, nothing so much related to IDMPR core, but a uh, really useful tool uh, that uh, I use a lot, uh, not only inside DevCoff, but for our customers. As a fast way to present beautiful dashboards uh, for people. Um, we, uh, many times we made a joke inside DevCoff that um, it does not matter how good is our system. If we don't have a beautiful uh, screen to show to end users, it is not worthwhile. <laughs> and Metabase helped us to improve this experience. Uh, my idea here is not to, to learn uh, anyone to, to use Metabase, but uh, just a quick overview. And I would like to know who don't know what is Metabase here? Who never used or heard about Metabase? Ben? <laughs> uh, I know that uh, Steve and Chuck, uh, Deepak, uh, use a lot Metabase, and I think that uh, during this speak, please uh, share your comments and your advices for for new nearest person. So I will pass fast here. Metabase, in my opinion, is the easiest tool to create quick dashboards. Uh, I tried for several times use Power BI or Gleek, Tableau, put, mm, all these tools are complex or do more than I need. This I think is the, the, the key point. Uh, are fantastic tools, but uh, big tools. Metabase is thin, have a, a, a easy to use interface. Um, I don't know if we can, I think it's better I open Metabase here. As you can see, we can, uh, Metabase is uh, driving by questions. You do quick questions and you get fast answers. And you can do this in, oh, I don't know. <laughs> this is a good point. General. Oh, it's a red in English, but I think that it gets in my browser context. And so it's in, it's in Portuguese. I will do a, a, an overview. So when I'm on Metabase, after configured, we can see all our database here. And when selecting one database, it takes a little bit time because I, I configured a, a full permission user to, to do this demonstration. We can see all, all the tables because I use a uh, user that it has full permission. Uh, and Metabase is uh, exciting because when you just connect your database, he gives some x-rays to you that he will understand the data inside the table and try to uh, compose some beautiful panels uh, with numbers, sums, and, and other data presentations. Uh, here I use uh, a table that has no data, so it's everything zero. <laughs> um, besides this, I can do uh, fast asks here, questions. And here I can do a, a simple question, uh, a custom question that's a, a more elaborated question. We can join, ta join tables on newest versions of Metabase. And a, a native question, that is when I write SQL code. code. Uh, my <laughs> preferred way is here, but <laughs> every customer ours prefer the first two, two options. I will show an example. An example. Yeah, please. Is replica or 
uh, this is a, a replica for IDMPR. Uh, on, on our production solution, we use a replica. Replica, yes, it's connected online on a replica solution, <laughs> and we use the posters, no, not the Oracle. Good. So here uh, is our production uh, environment of MetaBase, but with a, a demo IDMPR database. Here I can first select a table like um, C order. Uh, when I select the, the table, it will let me create filters and create summers. Um, who here use MetaBase in production? Which version? Latest or, or some oldest versions? Latest. Latest. Uh, you are also getting some uh, slowness when using future on custom questions, or not custom questions. Can't, can't tell now. Yeah, don't worry, uh, because uh, I noticed that uh, two days ago, because we have a lot of don't panels. And we, a long time that I don't use this, this screen. But uh, Chuck said something that makes some good sense. Uh, we are using a full, uh, full permission user. Then the interface is JavaScript and gets so, so slow. processing but uh, here I, I will change the, the editor mode for a uh, SQL native question to, to get faster and don't, don't don't lose our time so just to just to show you how, how simple is the data presentation I select a simple question, and uh, in, in a fast way, we can see the, the sun in a beautiful uh, display, and we can change these configurations to a progress. If you are creating a goal to, to, to reach, uh, we can format and, and do a lot of options on this uh, simple interface. Uh, so with this, what we did to, to show you, uh, I will not open again the, the, this, the presentation, uh, just <coughs> our ERP. And this is, I think, what, what it matters for, for us. I forget. On our product, we change the context. <laughs> this is the, po the, the important part of this presentation. Uh, I recreated the sales rep dashboard using MetaBase to uh, replace the native screen. And when users look to this, oh. 
even that for me, as a technical people, this is better because I can click and see which is compu composing this value. Uh, for end users, this is more attractive and they prefer a lot. Uh, here ha has uh, some code that I, I picked up from the packet repository. Uh, as you can see, this panel is bigger than the other two. Uh, this is a system configurator. When we def define the proportion, so I use it 20%. 60% and 20% uh, to, to get a, a better visualization of the, the dashboard. And another good trick here is the parameter that I'm using here. Uh, uh, another small contribution on dashboard content, we enable users to use context variables. And we can, uh, here I use the AD user ID. But uh, for real cases, we use another more difficult to, to copy identifiers here. And then we can show uh, personal data for each logged user into the system. Um, another. So basically, you have a filter up at the top. You call it ID. When you pass in your iframe, you just append all your filters by their name. Yeah, uh, let me see if I understand. Uh, when I create the, let me okay. when I configure my iframe here, yeah. I can use a context variable here. And so, in the word ID is because your filter of the top right shares that same ID. Yes. So if you have five filters, you I can create f five different. Uh, get variables here in URL, right? This I, I'm looking this uh, using the the API from Metabase. Uh, using the API, I think that we will enable a user clicking to dashboard and getting back to the system using the Perma, uh, permalink, this, this feature. I'm looking into that. It, I, I still uh, didn't make it work, but I, I think that is almost. Uh, you, one more last thing uh, is always that we say about the integrating Metabase and IDMPR, we think in the first home dashboard or something like that. And using features from uh, like quick info, we can do something like that and users love it. <coughs> Embedding some single questions in, in, in screens from the system to show fast information like uh, stock on hand or stock by category and similar information. Uh, each case is a new case. <laughs> you want to ask something? <laughs> yep. Yes. And then database. database, yes. Yes. Uh, in this case, it's connected in a, on an online database repl replication. Yeah, but I want to ask, uh, database has any aggregation there? Uh, no, no. Uh, do the, the job online. You, you say if you have a very large database, it may take a long time to, to return. Is this or not? <coughs> Uh -huh. then this can be a big yes, yes, uh, it's big, but we have two, two big customers using this on our replica database, and Metabase do, uh, 
they was using Power BI from Microsoft. And they are moving to Metabase uh, in due to the uh, online feature that Metabase presents. Uh, Power BI needs to sync uh, ETL and another things that I, do, I don't know. But uh, in Metabase, they put uh, some panels on the, the office and at every refresh, the data is updated. QGS? Uh -huh. uh, I, I heard, but I never use it. Uh -huh. So they get the raw data from Adequia and uh, pre the aggregate of data uh -huh. publishing to Redis. You can nice. get data by GVD token and synchrotron. And this is good. Uh, so you don't need to get data live. Ah, but you can nice. Sure you can. In this cube, GS, you can define the uh, uh, dimensions and missions uh -huh. in BI system. Ah, uh, right. So the right. definition is uh -huh. one phase of time. Good. Uh, I, I will take a look. I, I, I never use it, but I, I need to. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking workshop, we may share some ideas. Uh -huh. Good. Uh -huh. uh, one last thing here is the, the map visualization. We can use some components and, and get the. Here is a, a small customers by seed that we have. Mm. Okay. Thank you. And Mark, Carlos? Uh, this question is maybe about MetaBase. Uh, uh, you are connected there to the hidden field directly, yeah? Yeah. yeah. But can uh, uh, MetaBase do DTL? No, this, this is a, a missing feature. Two, two things, uh, uh, people that move it from Power BI to MetaBase, uh, says that miss two, two things. One is the ETL, it's just SQL. Uh, and the second thing is the uh, click, click actions. That in Power BI is really simple. Eh? When you uh, click on some sales rep, you go to, to the orders. Uh, and here you drill down, but you cannot configure the, the action. It's more simple. Another iframe, yes. The how to uh, always iframe, yeah. The iframe is pointing to a MetaBase server. A MetaBase server. And, and do you manage uh, login security there? Or and in MetaBase, uh, when you, you want to share a, ca a question or a dashboard, is really simple. You just need to go uh, here. Let me catch. Uh, for example, th this graphic. If I want to share this single question with someone, I just need to click in a button and he will generate a, a token, a URL, URL with a token. Like this. <laughs> this is what it he generates. But uh, th there is no uh, security other than this token. Uh, yeah, and here, you, uh, what we did uh, is create a login validator uh, generating a, a user more complex identification, and then use it this to, uh, to filter only his data. There is no JavaScript uh, Here, no. <laughs> but okay. it, th there is an option to do that. Uh, with JavaScript, you can hide, it, for example, this field from here, and user just look at the, the dashboard. Ah, yeah, 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 it's a, it's a, uh, a little, maybe using the API 
we will get something better than iframe. Done. And that's it. More, more. Any questions? So uh, your solution is about uh, linking people to identity data only through identity web page, right? Yes. So my, my, my yeah, the, the, the idea here is just to use Metabase to show uh, identity air data in a beautiful and simple way uh, and fast. Uh, because for develop developers that already use it with SQL, Metabase is really fast and you get the beautiful results. <laughs> Uh, this this one. Ah, uh, this is uh, I just copied the the, the carries from the the sales rep dashboard. This this window, <coughs> this window is a core core window, and, and I copied the 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 code from these graphics and ported to Metabase. Metabase is really simple to install. Uh, it's just a jar file. You download and Java means uh, Java uh, dash jar and start. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know if I, if I, if I got your... What do you, you mean? Yeah, the, these diagrams, this, yeah. are rendered by Metabase. Yes. Yeah, this, this is an iframe. Uh, here, it's an iframe open inside IDMPR. Just an iframe, yeah. The, the first three ones are actually standard ones, right? From from item here. These are CRM. These are CRM. Yes, this is the CRM. Yeah, uh, lead, opportunity, yeah. uh, so requests. Yes. It's the fourth one here, the sales. This one here, right? This one. This is yeah. From this is from the, yeah, yeah, no, but but he's looking to uh, sales order. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is, is there? Is in, in another words, it's just just selected on database, <laughs> on IDMPR database. Well, I can add another thing. That you can have a filter. You can have filters. Yeah. Filter, and it can select a department or some or region or something. Yeah, you you so you can do that. Yeah. So it's like interactive for users. Yes, yes. But you can do it interactive by this way. Or if you use JavaScript, you can hide this from user. Uh, I uh, usually prefer let you open, and no, no problem for the users. So you can have a drop down of several options. This, this you can configure it inside Metabase. There you can configure the, the parameter type and create a list, a, 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 a multiple choice, and no problems. Chucky was say something. Yeah. Yeah. Crash. Without. So, mm -hmm. so the best practice is that there be dedicated DI agents uh, saving goals. Mm -hmm. And only give them access to the information that you wanted to. The second comment is um, yeah. one of the things that I did is I created a, a, a bunch of views that demoralize the data. Yeah. That, for example, I have a view whose purpose in life is to document things about a business partner or a sales rep, for example. For example, when the sales rep started. So that when you have an order that happens to have a sales rep, it automatically gives you all the columns of the sales rep, including when they started. So that, for example, if you wanted to report by your salespeople who started in the last six months, there's no joining of tables or anything. Yeah. And then the second, and then behind that, so if you 
is you have uh, a caching, you have a, you materialize all those same views, suffix with the word cache, and then you just refresh those materialized views whenever you wish. And even if you have massive amounts of data, because you can uh, put indexes on, on caches, you have near instant data, uh, that sacrifices materialize. Yeah. Good. And the, <coughs> the, the security is, is a, a good point. Uh, on, on PDF file of the, the presentation, uh, I will send to, to everybody. Uh, I, I put it some another recommendations that is use a replica database security and also uh, to on metabase side don't use automatic scan for tables. That I is really slow and go put the server down. <laughs> uh, but security is important. Uh, another thing, uh, the first thing that we do on production for customers is hide all dictionary tables, dictionary and password fields from, from users to, to avoid the leaks. This is important. That's it. <coughs> yeah. There's a tutorial on how to build a form. The form, that demonstration, happens to be how to show an iframe. Uh, uh, so you can actually have windows on your menu that represent all the metabase dashboards. That you yes. Have. Um, and then Deepak uh, kindly created a, a plugin for me that gave me a dashboard widget, which is just the metabase mm. dashboards that are accessible to that wall. Di directly to, to metabase. Mm -hmm. Ah, so nice. Uh -huh. Ah, right. Uh -huh. Ah, right. Good. I, I will take a look. So that's it. Thank you for your time. <laughs>